Aha, good morning, me hearties. A very good morning to you. Time just coming up to 9.45 on Sunday morning. And I thought, I'll pop up and see you Sunday, the 1st of August. Where is the year flying into, I ask you? My goodness me, it's me, Scotty McClue, first lord of the internet, hashtag float eye, and we are here just for you to say dinky-doo. So do come and join us, I say. How amazing is that? There we are. Got me bad, John, so you can see who I am. There we are. Fantastic. Good morning, sir. Cole Brandist, good morning. How are things with you this morning? Are you aboard ship? I ask you. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Everybody coming and joining us now. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. That Scotty McClue is live on TikTok just for you saying dinky-doo. Very, very important that you never, ever miss a second of Scotty McClue or you miss a moment of life. And we don't want that, do we? So there we are. Fantastic. The fat man's joined us. Johnny's joined us. Always good to have you with us. And let's get talking and let's get TikToking big style. So much to talk about. So little time to do it in. Now, the last couple of nights we've had pop-ups that were just outstanding. I can't believe it. In all my 40 years in television and radio, I have never seen such success as TikTok Live. I just think it's amazing. Good Sunday to you. Good morning. A very good Sunday to you. Absolutely. And welcome, 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 I say, from Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster, the world's most humble man, and of course, the father of feminism, hashtag Foff. That's what it's about. <coughs> Excellent stuff, the Bendu. Paul Manning has just joined us. Welcome, Paul. Always lovely to have you with us. Remember, never, ever to scroll past Scotty McClue. That's a big, big no-no. Never scroll and never troll. That's what I would say. Morning, Scotty. Sending huge loads of hugs and kisses. Wolf Blaze, are you not just incredible? I thank you, sir. There we are. Good morning to you. Excellent. Lovely to have everybody with us. The Mad Ferrets just joined. Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. Always remember Dinky Doo, Scotty McClue's catchphrase for 29 years, three weeks ago. That is what it's all about, I say. Everybody come and give us your chat. I want to know where you're watching from. I want to know what you're up to today. And uh, just general, lovely, joyful conversation for a Sunday morning. Because the reason we started doing the lives is that the mainstream media is failing the people. And it's too depressing. When did you ever put anything on the television that you thought, oh, wow, this is so funny. You know, fantastic. Now then, who have we got? Noel's just joined us. Welcome, welcome. Follow us as soon as you come on. Thank you, Feed Mems. Feed Mems, thank you very much for following. We need everybody on TikTok should be following this. There shouldn't be a single TikToker that hasn't seen Scotty McClue and made their mind up, whether it's the thing for them or whether it's not. But you never, ever scroll past and you never, ever troll past. Miss 107, I know, Smart Sparky. That was a great radio station, but we had a very, very serious stewardship problem with that. <laughs> we had one of the stewards, shall we say, had serious, serious problems, and uh, it cost me a lot of pennies. So there we are. Dinky doo. Morning, Scotty. Dinky doo. Good morning, Alan Mackay. How lovely to have you with us. And Dinky doo. Hi from Scotland, says Doreen. Doreen, lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, says XXJ. Hi, XXJ. Always lovely to have you with us, Dinky doo. Tell 10 to tell 10. Let everyone know. Share it with all your TikTokers right now, guys, as soon as you possibly can. Follow us as soon as you come on. Hello from the Highlands. Have you followed Highland? Lovely to have you with us. Good morning and a very warm welcome. To follow, guys, you just tap the top left and click follow. That's all that's involved in it. Follow us as soon as you can. Don't be silly, savage. You know I'm not your dad. Good morning, Scotty, and welcome, welcome, welcome. That's the kind of daft trolling that gets people a lifetime ban on here. But I'll let you off this morning because I'm in a good mood. Hello and a good morning to you, Scotty. Love your energy, Penny. So lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome on a Sunday morning. 
This is why we started the lives, because we want people to have something nice to engage with, something fun. So we haven't lost our sense of humor. We haven't had it chased away by a pandemic. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Morning, we're stowed out the door and step it through. Alarm charm, we are actually this morning stowed out the door and step it through with wonderful people. But tell 10 to tell 10, we need to get these figures right up into the hundreds of thousands. And then on to the millions. Stowed out the door and step it through. There should be no TikToker left without Scotty McClue. That's what I say. If you're on TikTok, you should be part of Scotty McClue Live on TikTok. Fantastic. Plans for today. Good morning. Good morning. Johnny boy, Johnny. More domesticity. Tidying. Clearing. Sorting out stuff. Going through papers. Studying stuff. Information. Education. Entertainment. That's what life is about, I say. Uh, loved seeing the men's or women's mixed four times a hundred in relay for the first time. Let's hope they keep it that way. Mo, well done, Mo. Good for you. Yes, indeed. A good mix is what we want. Not one or t'other. That's what I say. Good morning, Sir Scotty. Geo dogs are. You are up and about. Mind you, it must be about the same time in South Africa. You'll either be 10 minutes to 10 in the morning or you will be... 10 minutes to 9? Have I gone the right way? I ask you. Now then, follow us as soon as you can. King Jeffrey Dinky Doo, Maverick shared the video. Thank you. Everybody have a share now. Let's have a bulk share of this video. And if you haven't followed, please follow, guys, because everybody that came on used to just axiomatically follows Scotty McClue. And I think you should follow as soon as you come on. I think even the, the technical side should just click follow as you come on. So please, let's get following. King Jeffrey, I thank you for your follow. Very, very much appreciated. Was listening to some of your radio wind-ups and phone calls uh, you received. You always get me in stitches. Alan, there's a few crackers on there, a few belters. A few people going about in their gaff shoes, I shall tell you. Damn, I thought you were Henry VIII for a second. Damn, I wish I was. No, not really, because he was very cruel. He was a domestic abuser, so I don't. So we don't like him. There we go. Uh, now then, I like your picture. Uh, thank you. What about the dog? The dog is beautiful. We love the dog. Oh, no longer with us, sadly. Uh, 10.50. Ah, right, so you're one hour. I went the wrong way, Geo Dog. Forgive me. 10.50. 10.50. We must have dropped back an hour from South Africa. Do you remember Catherine from Cheddar on your radio show? Of course I do, Johnny Boy Johnny. She was amazing. Uh, I like it. I like your picture behind you. Thank you. Tapping the screen releases dopamine. Win-win situation. Right, Maverick Lifestyle. Can everybody watching right now tap their screen and release some dopamine? <laughs> uh, we're an hour ahead, sir. I see. I thank you, sir. Fantastic. Very much appreciated, j Dog. Uh, so there we are. Now, Maverick Lifestyle, thank you, too. How lovely to have you with us. Thank you so much for all your interesting assistance last night with videos and for all your common sense. You are a superstar. I'll tell you that. Maverick Lifestyle. Everybody get following Maverick Lifestyle. She is amazing. Fantastic. Dinky do. Thank you. Not at all. Thank you. Hee <laughs> hee. Wonderful stuff. Scotty, are you a supporter of a political party? I don't know what that is. Brexit Connor. Never ever heard of it. And I wouldn't be a supporter of any political party anyway, because I am a political. That doesn't mean I don't know all about politics. There we are. That's one of the reasons I'm a political. Bless you. Thank you. Not at all, Maverick Lifestyle. A privilege and a pleasure, I say. And thank you for your advice and for your information. There we are. Friends can now duet. So I take it that's all my followers can duet now. Hello from Thailand. Tanyong. We love you from Thailand. Good morning. Tanyong in Thailand. What time do you have? I'm saying good morning, Tanyong. It might be later. Scotty, Brexit, what are you at? Are you trolling? You'd better not be trolling or you'll be toasted and sent. 
Dune the Swanny. We love that. I was just listening to a YouTuber about Winston Churchill. Yes, Maverick Lifestyle, it was just a wee quick pop-up to just seek an opinion. And of course, we had sort of like half a dozen really interesting people. I mean, the YouTube, Scotty McClure's YouTube channel is the world's best kept secret. But there's some real gold on there. Real gold. And everybody should have a look at Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. You'll see the URL right in front of your faces beside my bio. You're still going, says Mark. Mark, we've been going now for 29 years. We're in our 30th year. Woo! So, Scotty, what happened to Dad's berry and jump jacket? I don't remember the berry, the, the purple berry, Geo. He wore a black berry when I was young which I think might have been special services. I don't know. Um, and he wore a very interesting, it was called a kind of anorak, but it was definitely a service thing. And he would have a thick jumper on and then this that slipped over your head and had pockets in the front and what have you. The jump jacket, I don't know. I don't know what would that look like. I remember his great friend who was in the Paris with him and they were, I had a picture of Sola Airfield in 1944. And um, so there we are. Blackberry is Navy, but I think also, do the SPG have it? Um, there we are. I wonder. Uh, right. Now, what have we got here? Also that, so he wore the blackberry, but he was, he was obviously a parrot and had the red berry or the maroon berry. It actually was. And I could probably show you the badge. I've got the badge some as well. And there's Pegasus. You can see Pegasus behind me. Just a bit of Pegasus. What uh, happened to Army Surplus Shop? She used to get some cracky stuff from there called Brandist. They were just amazing. I loved them. You used to get the jumpers. You get the trousers. Boots that lasted forever. But I had the ones with all the hob nails. And they were slidey. You had to also be very careful. They were so stiff. You had to be careful driving. You would end up riding the clutch. <laughs> Love the hat. I thank you, Jed. Very much appreciated. Thank you, do. Uh, good evening, sir. Good evening, True Blue Floors. True Blue Floors has just joined us, guys. Everybody joining Scotty McClure. Can we all have a massive follow right now, please? Can we also have a massive share? Let's get active on here and interactive. That's what we're needing. Army surplus, I love that. Are you Irish, sir? Everybody's Irish to a greater or lesser extent. There we have you. What's your pronouns? You never, ever ask anyone their pronouns because it's rude, it's divisive, it's old-fashioned, it's passé, it's uninclusive, it's anti-everything. So don't ever ask anybody pronouns. Scrap your username, scrap your trolling, scrap your going on lives, scrap all that, change your attitude, get your act together. Okay, okay. There we are. Wow. Bonnie King, fantastic. I really love your eyes. I thank you very much. You're very, very kind. Uh, on my ship, we had a captain uh, of two para. I, yes, indeed. Well, I knew the CEO of one para. The British parrowings are incredibly beautiful. Geo Dog, I think I've got them. I'll not go and get them, but I've got them for you. I could show you them. They, uh, the, the, yeah. they looked actually a wee bit like an old Austin car badge, if that doesn't insult. Uh, I'm off to bed to have a great day, Scotty. Who's the guy in the picture? The guy in the picture is Da Scotty Da McClure with Da Lord Reith Da Labrador. How about that? Thank you, Maverick Lifestyle. Scotty, when did you start your career in radio? I um, always, I think when I was age nine, I built my own radio station uh, with instructions, of course. It was a kit. And you could uh, hear it if you transmitted in the house. You could hear it in the car, in the garage, faintly. So that was it. And my grandfather would go out and uh, my father would take my grandfather and he would put on the old radio mobile or the Motorola in the Singer Vogue state. Bunt Almond. And uh, that was the colour, by the way, not, not my handle. And um, they could hear me talking very faintly, broadcasting. So when I was nine, 
I then professionally uh, used to go on the radio a lot when I worked in opera. I did a lot of public relations and I would go around the radio station's arts programs. And then um, I went professionally into television and then professionally into radio and was the managing director, setting up radio stations, etc., etc. So there we are. So we're to probably talking a good 30-odd years ago. I have a navy jumper, brilliant for inclement weather on the back of the boat. Big, warm jumpers. Tremendous stuff. He said he'd never been so scared as we sailed across the Atlantic in a hurricane. Well, Mark Botty, I'm not surprised, absolutely. I mean, even the bravest of brave, bravest men can get uh, seasick, you know, and I'll tell you what seasickness is in a wee bit. Hello, Professor. Hello, Haya. Haya Badri. Lovely to have you with us. He fought in the Falklands. Ah, yes, indeed. And uh, now we have uh, a Falklands veteran as the uh, commanding officer in Scotland. Fantastic. Can I please be a mod? Well, Maria, that's so kind of you to offer. But in actual fact, we don't really need mods. We just send the trolls to the Swanee. And off they go. Uh, share the live video, guys. Follow me. Uh, the SAS wore and still wears a light brown berry. Only the greatest respect. Geo dog started by a Scotsman. Yes, absolutely. Major Stirling. Yes, uh, from, uh, I think he might have been Stirling of Keir. Scotty, was that before Victoria passed? Law? Victoria passed in January 1901. I'm trying to remember the date. Was it the 14th? 14th of January 1901. And uh, she died at uh, 6.30 in the evening, I think it was, or 6 o'clock. Because I remember a friend of mine ha asked me to help to clear out his grandfather's house. And there was a beautiful little diary in perfect condition. And in it, in very nice, tiny copper plate writing, it said, The Queen died tonight at 6 or at 6.30. I can't remember the exact time we put little entry in the diary for something like the 14th, but it was January 1901. Yeah, you can check that for me and get back to me someday. When did Queen Victoria die? And then, of course, it was winter, and they had to put her on board the royal yacht and take her across from Osborne House to Portsmouth. Not for the faint-hearted, I say. What cars do you have, Scotty? I have two cars. One is 21 years old, and the other is... The other is 29 years old. There we are. Fantastic. Both beautiful quality British cars. Thanks, Scottish. Dinky do. Not at all, Alan. Bless you. Lovely to have you with us. Dave from Calder Crooks near Airdrie. Good morning, big man. Good morning. Lovely to have you with us. I know Calder Crooks. I used to drive through it when I went with a friend from... Now, what's the place further out overlooking the wee loch? And then we used to go through Calder Crooks in the way to Glasgow. Tremendous stuff. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Thank you. Amazing. Amazing Maverick. It's fantastic stuff. How does the moon cut his hair? Asks Tom. Eclipse it. I love it. I see what you just did there, Tom. How amazing is that? Scotty, Andy, lovely to have you with us, Dinky Doo. Love it. Maverick lifestyle, bless you. Are you enjoying Rapsy Nisbet? Do you, are you Rapsy Nisbet or do you know him? Are you one of his pals? Uh, one of the founding members was Sir Wingate. Uh, now, wait a minute. I know who you're talking about. Um, Wingate, was he the Chindits? There we are. The SAS was introduced to harass the Japanese in Borneo. And boy, did they do that. I can tell you. Different class, the Reb C. Absolutely. 1901. I know it was 1901, Mark. What we need is the exact day and date. See if you can catch that. Was it January the 14th? It was definitely January. They are not trolls. They speak the truth and people don't like it. Who's not trolls, Peter? Tell us more. There we are. Have a great day. 
He's been drinking. No, David Mamby, are you a troll? Because if you're a troll, I'll toast you and send you down this one. It's up to you. But don't tell whoppers. There we are. You mustn't judge other people by yourself. There we are. Just because you've got a serious problem with drink. 22nd of January. Oh, I was a week out. How annoying's that? One week out. Uh, Sterling. Wow. So the Sterling submachine. Sterling. Actually, Sterling Geodog. So S T I. And I would think the Stirling submachine carbine was named after him as well. The Stirling, yes, absolutely. And, of course, the Browning. Was the Browning called after Boy Browning, General Browning, who was married to um, Daphne du Maurier, the author of Rebecca? There we are. There's a bit of chat for you. Where's the favorite place you've been? Oh, Maverick Lifestyle. I've been in so many beautiful places. I used to broadcast in Sheffield and Yorkshire. Outstanding people. Gorgeous, gorgeous place. Beautiful city. Incredible countryside. Lovely, lovely people. Uh, there we are. So one of my favorite places, Aberdeen, Grampian Television, one of my favorite places, Carlisle, Border Television, Newcastle, Century Radio, Manchester, Century Radio, the Midlands, Century Radio, Preston, Century, um, Red Rose Radio, uh, Edinburgh, Scott FM Radio, just massive. The English are in Edinburgh. The English are everywhere, hopefully. They are beautiful, beautiful people. Never, ever, ever be anti the English. Uh, Lime Rig, David Dan, what an absolute top man are you? Lime Rig, yes, and you could get into the borough of Boris Stunes, Bones, and you could get into Falkirk. Am I right? Lime rig. How amazing. That's it. You're 100%, David. Trust you. My good friend works in the iron brew plant and just got a visit from HRM the Queen. Just HM the Queen. You don't need Her Royal Majesty, just Her Majesty the Queen. There we are. Fantastic. Because I noticed somebody had put HRH the Queen Mother. It would be Her Majesty the Queen Mother because she'd been Queen. Am I right? Thoughts on the Rothschild family? I don't know them personally, Andy. Uh, I knew people from one of the other great big banking families, but I don't know the Rothschilds, so I wouldn't comment on them, uh, you know, from that point of view. Uh, so we got here. Browning was a long way back. Browning of the machine gun fame was a long way back. So there we are. But Boy Browning was a general... In, uh, I would have think, during the Second World War, uh, up to then. Hello from Kent in England. We love Kent. Whereabouts are you in Kent? Do you know Westerham, where Churchill lived? I can remember going to his house, Chartwell. Fantastic. Uh, were the Chindits and the SAS two different units? Oh, yes, the Chindits, I think, were in India. And they were under Ord Wingate, I think, if I'm right. Ord was his first name, O-R-D-E. Check that one out, Ord Wingate. The SAS were, were different uh, as well. Uh, but, I mean, there were many crack units in the British Army. You know yourselves, the Paras were very, very good. Um, the Gurkhas, another outstanding unit, the Gurkhas. Uh, did I tell you, Geodog, the story about the um, commanding officer of the, it was either the Paras or the Commandos, and he spoke to the commanding officer, who was always British, of the Gurkhas. And he said, um, if your men are any good, then tell them to visit us tonight and we'll uncover them. So the Paras sat up the whole night watching for the Gurkhas coming to their barrack block. Nothing. And in the morning, he said to the Gurkha commanding officer, why didn't you come? We sat up all night waiting on you. 
He said, tell your men to turn their boots upside down and have a look. All the paras turned up their boots and there were chalk marks on them. The Gurkhas had been and gone, absolutely unseen and unnoticed. Now that's scary. And as you know, the Gurkhas carry the Kukri, which is a massive sharp knife. You know, I mean, you know, that would be, that would be um, crocodile Dundee stuff. That's not a knife. <laughs> this is a knife. <laughs> Morning, Scotty. Dinky, do. Fantastic. Just been watching a documentary about the Victoria Cross. Brilliant stuff. Well, called Brandist. You will see in the documentary um, Lon Campbell, VC. Brigadier Lon Campbell. When he was Major Lon Campbell when he won the VC. And my mother knew him very well. My family were friendly with the uh, uh, with the Lons and uh, Lon Campbell with the Campbell family. Lon Campbell of uh, of uh, Ochendarach, uh, Brigadier Lon Campbell, lovely, lovely, lovely guy, a VC, great man. Argyll and Sutherland Highlanders, top, top, top crack regiment. Amazing. I'm from Stoke and Trent, Wedgwood country. We love the Wedgwood. Josiah Wedgwood was a lunar man. Check out the lunar men. They met under the moon because they could walk in the light. And they were top people. James Watt, the engineer, was one of them from Greenock. And uh, Josiah Wedgwood was another. And they wanted to advance the world because Wedgwood made, as you know, this outstanding pottery, the blue Wedgwood. And... Um, a lot of it got smashed because of rutted roads and unsprung wagons to transport it. So he wanted to modernize things. Tremendous. Linlithgow's better though. We know Linlithgow, Graham. And I would like reparation of damages from Westminster to rebuild Linlithgow Palace. Things, it was the king's brother that damaged it. He used to go to school with Gregor Fisher's niece, Renilson. I, yes, Alan, of course. A fine man, Gregor. Greg Scotty, you're a legend. David, there we are. The stilling is a fantastic SMG. Just one problem. It goes through ammo in no time. This is it. This is always the problem with uh, with fast weaponry like that. You know, I mean, it, it. they can get that it gets better and better and better. You can get better sights, better range, better cooling, all these things, better operation, finer engineering, but at the end of the day, you've still got to reload, you know, and ammo is heavy if you think. Do you remember all these big cross belts that people had draped across their shoulders? Henry VIII, that's new daily meta, very good. We haven't had that one before. Um, follow us as soon as you can. All right, Scotty, my man. Um, nothing beats the Marines and the SBS. Well, they know themselves. They they call the shots, as we say. And there we are. Erin Gavra. Ah, Erin Gavra. Lovely to have you with us. God save Ireland. Billy Connolly, great or the greatest? I would say probably the greatest. But another outstanding comedian is Peter Kay outstanding comedian just got it right so billy conley peter peter k i do like kevin bridges as well i have to say big fan of kevin bridges the gurkhas scare the daylight out of me only the greatest of respect well they're just so good you know they they, they, they what it is geo dog and you'll understand exactly what i'm saying here it's not just all the background and the training and the instinct. It's also the focus. Very, very sharp focus. If you can sharply sharpen your focus and sharply focus on something, that's a route to success in what you're doing or about to do or what your trade or your profession is. Very, very sharp focus. Having said that, I remember being invited to speak at a radio conference 
And this is when you're speaking in front of all your peers. So you can't give them any nonsense or they'll suss you. So you have to be right up front. And I was there with one of the top people in radio by invitation. Sadly, no longer with us. And the two of us were backstage. And I said to him, name his wife. I said, how's, how's, how's your wife doing? And he turned around to me and said, focus, man. Because he was obviously going on stage to me has just been like we're doing now. It's a walk in the park. So I don't get anxious or nervous because it's my workplace, you see. And um, I was just quite happily to have a conversation while we went on. But he wasn't. He had to focus on what was stuff. I had to concentrate. There we are. And it's the sharp focus. You'll know what I'm saying, j Dog. Hi, hi from South Africa. The same when you're taking a shot into the crosshairs and then just that tiny bit of adjustment and then the focus. Wonderful. Because you don't know what's going to happen next. I went to the museum last week. There's so much info, but it's free. So I'll go again in my bike. Maverick Lifestyle. Go to all these places. That's what they're there for. Build and build and build your knowledge because knowledge is power. Fantastic. You've got to use it well, though. I mean, I've been trusted with so much incredible information over the years. Have you ever visited the British War Museum, Scotty? Yes, I have, co -brandist. You see, as a family, I was very privileged. And a mother and father that never really took us on holiday. They took us on an educational trip. <laughs> so we didn't lie on a beach. We went to Blenheim Palace when I was seven and learned every single aspect about the Churchills. I was given a service number one kukri by a Gurkha once. Kukri, I think it's got a K, is it? Uh, one of my most prized possessions. Oh, absolutely, Geodog. Very sharp, though. Very sharp. Is there anything you don't know, Scotty? Can you give me the lottery numbers for next week? David, if I give you the lottery numbers for next week, everyone will go and put them on. How could I possibly win? Do you see what I'm saying? Although I'm a generous man, I might just give you them. There we are. A lovely person making me a tricon. Aha! Olith. Fantastic. Lovely to have you with us, Dinky Doo. I watched your latest video. I didn't like the swearing. Well, there wasn't actually any swearing in it, uh, Olith. You'll find that uh, the word you're talking about was used properly, and you can look it up in the dictionary, and there should never, ever have been a problem with that. You see? So I wasn't too chuffed with that, I could tell you. There we are. What was the war like? I wouldn't know, Neely, but my father used to tell me, but you had to prize it out of him. Big quiet man that had been in all the theatres of war for six years. Do you take the high road or the low road? I watched take the high road. Outstanding. I've never heard of the low road. They are super tough and resilient. I don't want to mix my day with them on the wrong side. Geo dog. You never get in the wrong side of the Gurkhas. Big respect. These guys will walk hundreds of miles to be recruited, to be considered for the Gurkhas. Morning, Scotty. Can I get a wee dinky do, Mazel? Yeah, of course you can get a big dinky do, top man. Lovely, lovely to have you with us. Are you a lawyer? I am not a lawyer, but I do understand a lot of the law. I trained in law and accountancy for finance. So there you are. So I can uh, cover a good bit of it. I used to deliver to Blenheim, get told off for parking my lorry deck to above the vaults. Called Brandest. They shouldn't have done that, for goodness sake. All they should have said to you delivering was thank you, because it's quite a drive in the drive there from Woodstock. Yes, indeed. Tell us some of his stories then. Now you see, Neely, well, all right, I will. I was watching Heroes of Telemark one Sunday, and he was watching it, puffing on his pipe. And he said to me, um, I said to him, what are they doing? He said, they're making heavy water for a bomb. And he was actually there. He was dropped into Norway. And in fact, there's also, you'll see that there sadly was a British commando plane crashed when the Norwegian resistance 
were up there trying to uh, sort out the, um, what was it they called them? Uh, we, the, the word will come back to me. Yes, it'll come back to me, the word. I'll, I'll, I'll get that. Quislings, sort out the quislings. And they were meeting the British commanders and the plane crashed. But my father was actually dropped into Norway in 1944 with the white suit on and the red berry. So there you are. So I could tell you some of the stories there. Uh, Dinky, do opinions on the nation of Pakistan. We adore the nation of Pakistan. Adore it. Very, very sorry for the people that lost their lives in a very, very poor partitioning of India, splitting the Punjab right down the middle. Bad idea. A lot of people lost their lives. However, we have the beautiful countries of India and Pakistan. And we love you guys. From what country are you? I am a citizen of the universe, Annie. I am from the world, but uh, west of Scotland. Fantastic. Ireland's better than Scotland. No country's better than any other country ever. Get that into your head. They're just different. There we are. I know Ireland. I adore Ireland. Not sure about your username. We usually ban anybody with that word in it. Uh, Law, you take the high road and I'll take the raw road and I'll be in Scotland before you. Loch Lomond. Yes. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Gamer, you'll uh, have a job um, understanding, I would think. But keep watching. Molly Scotty actually laughed until I cried last night watching your radio show on the TikTok. Shugdu was last night not one of the funniest things you've ever seen. A brilliant live. But if you want something even more amazing, Friday night, you'll get it on the YouTube channel. Get on there, I say. I wish I'd been more inquisitive as a youth. My great aunt was a chauffeur for Lancaster Pilots. Wow. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Only found out about it after she'd passed. Yes, so she would drive them out. I met a gentleman whose mum... Killed the dog. I won't say the word, but it was quite a word then. But the dog's name, um, a Guy Gibson's dog ran across the road just before the dam busters bombing and got killed. And he asked his uh, flight sergeant to bury him that night. And I uh, was talking to this gentleman. He said, my mother was driving the car. How awful. Poor lady. So there we are, because he ran across the road. Labradors sometimes just do. They've, they're so brilliant, but they've got their focus and they they forget their road safety. Hello from New York, Slappy. We love you from New York. Are you New York, New York City? Whereabouts are you? Are you in the Bronx? Are you in Queens? The one about the guy being depressed, you made him choke with laughter. Then me and the wife, oh, shugged you. That's Rob from Southport. Guys, if you want a laugh, uh, it doesn't say it on it, but scroll through Scotty McClure's TikTok videos and look for Rob from Southport. Uh, 234,000 people have had a look at it on, on YouTube. Amazing. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. I piloted a little boat in Loch Lomond. So great. Absolutely. I was nearly the captain of the boat on Loch Lomond. The Countess Fiona. Yes, indeed. Oh, so funny. Upstate New York, Syracuse. Have I said it? Syracuse, Syracuse. You must forgive me. You know, forgive my ignorance here. How do I pronounce it? Uh, Syracuse, 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 Sarah, Syracuse, Syracuse. Sarah, 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 Syracuse. Uh, Slappy, you need to help. Help. Hello from Northumberland, Mopsy. Well, what about you then, eh? How fantastic to have you on my video. I'm loving it. Thanks very much to everyone from the Northeast for coming on and joining Scotty McClue. Love to all us, we say, Mopsy. That's it, eh? Now, uh, follow us, everybody. Dink, you know. Slip is there. He's going to follow us. Guys. We need a massive, massive follow fest. Come on, get following big time. Can everybody follow Burnside? Yes, I know Burnside, Vibe Town. 
know it very, very well indeed, the Burnside Road, Chateau Ole, Rutherglen, the Royal Borough of Rutherglen. Oh, that's absolutely amazing, guys. I can tell you. Now, who have we got here? Mr. Brightness has joined us. Fantastic. Lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky do from Scotty McClure. Scotty loving the hat. Now, guys, if you want, can you see the badge? Scotty McClure says dinky do to you. Um, if you can get onto the YouTube channel, that would be amazing. Can I have more follows, please? Let's see, where have we got the stuff? Oh, I'm sure I had some stuff I was going to. Ah, yes, here it is here. Yes, this is the one for you guys. This will let you know what's going on. You're watching live, Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet, hashtag flow time. Follow me on TikTok at Scotty McClure. Can everyone get following just now? Tap the plus sign top left, follow, share, live, like, watch. Tap the Instagram logo for Instagram and YouTube. So there you are. Now you'll see the URL for the YouTube right in front of you. Okay. Please follow, guys. I need some more following. Follow, follow. Come on, let's get following big style. If you haven't followed, we'll have a follow amnesty because I need millions of you following. And we're a long way away at the moment because we're fairly new. But get following, guys, as soon as you can. Heron1456 uh, says, what do you do on the YouTube? 1,500 videos for your information, education, enjoyment, uh, enlightenment, and delight. Yes, indeed. Was that water, Scotty, or something stronger? Well, it wasn't heavy water. I don't want to blow myself up, you know, all puffed up with a drink. <laughs> Hello from New Zealand. Kalorossi, we love you in New Zealand. Are you north of South Island? Tell us more. Yes, indeed, we shall rub noses. Well, great stuff. Heavy water, each molecule contains two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen. So it's actually 2HO. Is that right, dear dog? Would it be 2HO? Uh, fantastic. We love that. Now, well, wait a minute. Heavy water, two hydrogen would be H2O. So that's normal water's formula. Am I not right? H2O, all water contains two hydrogen and one oxygen. Am I not correct? There we are. It's a glass of the Scottish nectar. It is blocky horror show. It's fantastic. Guys, more following, please. Uh, follow, follow. Come on, get following Scotty McClure. Love the hat. Sharing and sharing as well. Tremendous. Bring the old hat back. Do you want the old hat on? Right. Is it better like this? Or is it better like that? Better like this? Or better like that? Once more, is it better like this? Or is it better like that? Okay. You tell me which is the best hat. Here you wee leprechaun. Here you wee leprechaun yourself now. You see, happy. Oh, now there's a troll, you see. Uh, Carayo, what you're doing, no, Cara, Cara Elizabeth, what you're doing, Cara, is trolling. Now, that's very, very, very poor form, and it's banned outright on Scotty McClue Lives because this is different to any other live on TikTok. This is the big one. This is important. Yeah? This is TikTok's top talk show. So to come on with that kind of rubbish when you know there's no such person and it's certainly not his birthday, so you've told me two lies. You've fibbed. How trustworthy? Does that make you look, Cara Elizabeth? Not very good. So either I can send you down the swanee or you can stay with us and learn how to properly watch a TikTok live. 
what's it to be? You decide and send me a message and we'll keep you with us just now. Right, guys, I'm going to spare Cara Elizabeth because she seems to be young, puerile, and daft. Uh, you know, so that sort of idea. Uh, fantastic. Scott, I'm a bit depressed. Must be the one-way system. Yes, in Southport. Oh, yes. You're passing the shop you want to go to on the other side of the carriageway. Got to have a drink at 10.30 in the morning. Cheers. Vibe out. Have a drink of water. I'll be back tomorrow for Sweden, Sweden. That's you, that's me. Jam, 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 jam. The old hat. This one. Is this the winner? The old hat's fantastic. That. There we are. True, but the difference comes in the makeup of the hydrogen atoms. So, Geodog, I love this. What's the formula for heavy water? There we are. Old hat. This one here, jam, jam, jam. I like the black hat. The old hat. Ah, the black, the black. Broad black brimmer. She's so bad. She's so bad, Heron. Doing the swanee with us is Geodog. Where's she going then? She'll go doing the swanee with a lifetime ban from Scotty McClure saying cheery bye to you. That's what we do. Guys, I'm going to have to dash. Have the most gorgeous Sunday. We might pop up later. Take great care of your dear selves. And this is Scotty McClure saying dinky do to every single one of you. Shall I sing you the goodbye song? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Auf Wiedersehen. Au revoir. And a cheery oh. Bless you all, my darlings. Have a lovely day. Take great care of your dear selves. And see you soon. Do you like Cocoa Pops? Yes, but they make your milk go brown. The broad black brimmer, the checkered bonnet Scotty, the black one gives Henry VIII vibes. He was a wrong un. He was. Dinky do, you too, my guy. See you later, Scotty. Dinky do, guys. Taralas.